Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. If the Philippines is so wrong, what makes it right? Um, it's quite funny. The arguments on both sides are quite aggressive. Um, my point of view on this is quite simply, Philippines has a lot of freedoms you don't get in the UK anymore. Um, I don't like being hassled for common sense stuff. Yet today I was reading about a child, well, I said child, a teenager, that went to a water park in Barcelona, got sunburn, and now the mother's talking about suing the school because um, the child is too stupid to wear sun cream, even though he was told multiple times to put it on, just ignored advice, etc. But obviously it's the school's fault. Um, no, it's the mother's fault or the father's fault because it's bad parenting. They were told what to do, just didn't do it. And obviously where there's blame is a claim or in this case where there's an idiot lawyer um, and legal system, there's money to be made. Um, Philippines, a lot of time just isn't interested. You know, if somebody does something stupid like that, they would just be like, what an idiot. But they would just laugh it off. They wouldn't care less. You know, it's not a big problem. Nobody really cares. Um, they would be concerned about the health side of it, but they're not going to go, oh, I got sunburn. Why didn't you tell me to put sun cream on? Um, well, why didn't you force me to put sun cream on? And they'd just be like, are you on drugs? So that, that point, um, the Philippines, you can do what you want most of the time. Nobody cares. That's the positive side of it. Beautiful women, um, not only are everywhere, but a lot of them are looking for foreign husbands. As such, for a guy, that opportunity alone is worth its weight in gold. Um, but also the mentality is there. You know, a lot of these women, I say predominantly the majority of these women are fantastic wives. They're good people. They, their marriage is for life. They're looking for that right person, the ideal person. Um, they come from a Catholic upbringing, which uh, pushes the marriage thing is the go forth and breed sort of thing. So as such, it's, it's written into the, um, the DNA almost. <laughs> to meet the right guy and settle down, etc. You got that. Cost of living, I'm a bit like that these days because it is going up. Um, but I do think I'll reach a point where it pushes it back down um, because the market will adjust to what people can afford. Um, so I would say wait and see. But relatively, it can be pretty dirt cheap to live in the Philippines even now. If I was a single guy, for example, I could live on five to 10,000 pesos a month, no problem whatsoever. Um, I know a lot of other people couldn't, but then again, I'm quite easygoing and don't need to be at McDonald's every day and I don't need a microwave meal, um, but I can happily spend 100 pesos on a meal, no problem, <laughs> you know, I'm, I, I'm not, um, I'm not desperate for food or anything. I can survive quite cheaply. Um, so you got that. The ability to think is quite a big thing for me. Uh, the Philippines gives you space to think because I find in the UK, the essence of stupidity is everywhere. Um, even taking your car off the road involves filling in a form to say it's not on the road. Wanting to do something um, that's a little bit different involves a lot of process in the UK. Um, most people are working to pay bills and nothing else. Um, so as such, they've sacrificed their freedoms and choices in return for paying off debt. Um, where personally in the Philippines, I can go and sit on my backside. I only need to find food and pay my electric bill and I'm happy. UK, can't do that, I'm afraid. You've got your council tax bill. We've got this big water bill, electric bill, every bill, um, which makes it quite an expensive place to be, especially when a lot of it is unnecessary. See, in the Philippines, there seems to be like this two standards, you know, between the rich and the poor. 
And the rich are quite smart in the fact that the people in the middle will pay for the, the electric and all the bigger stuff. But the people at the bottom generally don't pay for much. Um, their electric will be virtually nothing, etc. What's, what's my point? Well, in the UK, we pay it in the middle. There's a big difference though. When I do three months in the, the UK working, I can do a year and a half in the Philippines living because I can drop down here in the Philippines. In the UK, you can't. There is no dropping out unless you want to go and live on the streets. The Philippines is a case of just reducing your cost of living. In the UK, it's very difficult to do because your money's tied up and the mortgage is in the car, etc. Stuff do you need to actually function in the UK. Um, Philippines, you can get on the bus. The bus in the UK is expensive. Train on the tra trains are expensive. Uh, the train to London from Worcester um, cost me between eighty-five and one hundred and twenty pounds a day. Um, stopping at hotels about hundred pounds a day with the expenses. Uh, Philippines, I can stop in a the cheapest place was about a pound. <laughs> So you've got those comparisons and that, that, those make a big difference. And it, this is why people will either love or hate the Philippines and they'll understand it or don't understand it because some people will not stop in a place that costs a pound a day to live in. Um, but at the same time, I sat there uh, in Bohol, for example, um, no, sorry, Negros, and it's a beach hut overlooking the sea, very basic, it's on stilts though. It's got its own toilet downstairs, it's got its bed upstairs, and you just sit in the balcony and you've got the most fantastic view that it's just amazing. And it costs virtually nothing. In the UK, you just can't get it. You know, where are you going to get a property that has that sort of view? Um, even if you had a chalet on the beach, um, you're not allowed to live in it anyway. Uh, even in these holiday homes, you can't live in them all year round. So that's where the freedoms are a bit different in the Philippines. So I'd say that is the main things. Meeting beautiful women, more freedom, less cost of living, uh, ability to have space to think and do stuff without bureaucracy constantly in your face. Um, you just relaxing i mean the the weather's fantastic as well i mean the uk has been good the last week but in the philippines it's pretty much good all year round even with the typhoon it's not so bad i mean because i when the typhoons are there i'm sitting on the balcony um just watching i remember watching i used to sit and watch the storms coming in off the sea as well we watch the lightning um i used to sit at the old store um <laughs> with a, with uh, some brandy uh, it'd be like two in the morning, rain's hammering down, and I'm just sat outside the store just watching. Now, that goes to show you what the areas I uh, like I live in, because the fact is I'm just sat there minding my own business and nobody's bothering me at two o'clock in the morning. Um, is there a risk to some people? Of course, there's always risk. But most people know I don't carry anything with me anyway, so there's no point trying to rob me. There's no. All I've got on me at that time of morning is the ten, um, the brandy in a glass. I don't carry cash or anything with me. I don't need any. Um, but yeah, that's the major differences. Uh, that's what makes the Philippines work. It's from a Western perspective, all our headaches are in the West. We sort of move across because even the politics, when you go to another country, the politics aren't your business. So as such, you disconnect from it. In the UK, we're constantly getting it rammed in our face with the media and stuff. But um, what happened? Oh, the Tunisia um, attack that happened last week or whenever it was. I wasn't even aware it happened because I've been in Spain and I don't watch news or stuff too much anymore. Um, because I find it too biased. But at the same time in the UK, due to the people I bump into, I would have known about it. And stuff like that frustrates me. Um, but when you're in Spain, Philippines, it's not that there's a media blanket, it's just a lot of time.
you just don't get to hear about this stuff and it has no negative effect on you because you never heard about it. Okay, thanks for watching.